What's up, guys? It's your boys. Welcome back with another number three of Hell Week with Sam and Kobe. And they're going to a location that I've always wanted to go to. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll, I'll go there someday. But we're going to be taking a look at Myrtle's Plantation. I'm super excited. So hopefully you guys are too. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn as we get ready to watch Sam and Kobe's number three video of their seven videos when it comes to Hell Week for 2022. Let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that red bar icon down at the bottom right. Smack the bell icon next to it so when I do post a video like this one, you'll get that little ring notification that Zawoki myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you so very much for the love and support you guys show on this channel every single day. Keep doing what you guys are doing. We're continuing to grow even more. We're almost to 14,000 subscribers and it's because of you guys. So keep doing what you guys are doing. Tell your friends, tell your family, or anybody you guys know and speaking of support check out the link in the description for sam and kobe themselves a great youtube channel i've been watching them for like four or five years plus when they were on vine great stuff to watch old new present whatever have you go over there watch your stuff and without further ado we're gonna get to this new video because i definitely want to see it very very much of the myrtle myrtle's plantation um their captions were never coming back to this haunted plantation I beg to differ. They'll, they'll, they'll be back. Who knows? But let's take a look. Some say the Myrtle's Plantation in St. Francisville yes. is one of the most haunted places in Been America. Me. Oh, oh, she's oh back! All these years later, oh. Chloe still roams the halls of this old plantation. It's fight. Well, right after you say Chloe. <sighs> Definitely being alone. I'm getting chills already. Really creepy. Yes. I'm getting chills. Oh, hello. What's up, guys? It's Sam McColby. Welcome to Hell Week. Yes. Today, we are here with Nate Dutt what? and Amanda the Medium. What? is a medium. It's like the size right in between small and large. Perfect. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> a medium, if you guys don't know, is somebody who can connect the spirit realm to the like realm the that joke. we live on. Oh, yeah. Myrtle's Plantation is known to be one of the most haunted houses in the world. I remember watching wow. this when I was younger. Are you excited? Dude, I, just like every time you guys bring me on one of these. I'm like terrified. I can tell. Is it wearing flip or sandals again? <laughs> you look oh, this face right here? <laughs> <laughs> oh my Kitty. god. Kitty! I think it's a real cat. He doesn't have an ear. Wow. Wait, actually? You know oh who else doesn't god. have an ear? <gasps> the main ghost here. <laughs> oh my god. What are the odds that they get a cat without an ear? What if, what if this that's Chloe? the ghost? Yeah. Chloe. Chloe? Oh. Yeah. It has a smell to it. Some kind of smelly smell. Yeah, smelly, smelly, smelly smell. It is a very old building. We said the spirits would smell sometimes. Are we smelling the spirits? I think this is the most the famous iconic. haunted object in the Myrtle's Plantation. Right Mirror. here at the front door. And right next to the steps, which is also extremely famous. We'll get to that later. Oh, haunted mansion. There's definitely someone here with us. What the fuck? Um, closer to you now, but she's like, she's right over here. And I don't see her anymore, but... She was there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She probably like your height. And I, I just like, madam is all, like all I keep getting. Madam? Like, like madam. madam. madam? She's like the madam of the house. Like the woman Ooh. of the house. Second spirit already seen here at the house. It's been 15 minutes. Dude. <laughs> oh my god, this is beautiful. Dang, oh that's god, bad. This thing is about to fall off. We're gonna add one more this ghost place is like to the back plantation in the right there. Jeez. Early 1800s, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we just walked past the 17th step. Do you know what I mean? Yep, I heard that. Was that right here? Oh, a lady died so. on the 17th step. We're gonna get to all of this later, but holy shit, this oh. might be the most haunted area. We just jumped into the deep end. What's that? Hello. We are. We this building. Do you not hear that? We should have the entire thing to ourselves, but yeah, there was definitely. I love how the house there. looks, though. It's so beautiful. I mean, this is an old place. Is it place. the floor? Is it like when you step? Saying. Like, will it? But it was definitely over there. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> is it doing it? I can't tell, dude. Is it doing it for you? I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. Something's definitely going on, though. Something's happening. Wait, is this one of our rooms? Like this I should have stayed home. I hope not. No, oh, God, scary! Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, my God. That's, that's not creepy. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God
my god! Oh, oh, she is and this super... one has blacked out eyes! Oh my god! Okay, so they're trying to make this place scary. Yo, but these look like normal dolls that were just like tampered no, with. No, these belong in Zag Bam. <laughs> Zach these belong. <laughs> These belong in Zach Bingham's <laughs> museum. Yes. Oh my god, I She's creepy. about that doll. Oh. I actually think this might be scarier. It has like the blood oh my seeping gosh. out of its eyes. Wait! Wait, just like the yellow fever. Like the coagulated blood. Yes. Oh, well, I'm missing something. Shortly after the plantation was built, that was when yellow fever swept across Louisiana and killed off like a tenth of the population. One out of every ten people you knew would have died of yellow fever, and a lot of them were children. And like some of the symptoms would have been like intense fever, stomach pains, and, you know, just casual throwing up coagulated blood. Oh, boy. That's gnarly. A lot of people on this property had to watch their children die. Gruesome, gruesome deaths. Even, like this doll shows, bleeding from the eyes. Yellow fever was probably one of the most gruesome deaths, and a lot of it happened here. By the way, guys, we have to sleep here, so someone's getting the fucking bed right next to that creepy doll. I am so pumped you. for them to do this. What? Ah! Oh, my God! You guys are gonna walk in on me, I'm gonna sleep like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fully ready. Save it. <laughs> oh, this one's beautiful. That looks this cool. This has a different smell in it. Dude, the perfume, Roby. Oh you my remember? gosh. Roby, literally said sometimes you would be overwhelmed with like a strong like perfume. It's gonna be suffocating. You would smell this heavy perfume just wafting in your nose and it won't go away. It was the so? high priestess who died or who was murdered, wasn't it? <gasps> Cleo. Yep. Holy <laughs> <laughs> Scooby, dude, bro. That was like... <laughs> So we're saying a lot of these names you guys don't know. There's a lot of different haunted rooms. And as you can see, this place is giant. It's huge. Right. We're gonna go take a tour and tell you a little bit more about the history of this place. My name is Shauna Fahad and I'm a tour guide here at the Myrtles Plantation. All right, it's gonna be super spooky, right? Usually. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of prankster spirits here on the property. Pranks. They're my favorites. Tonight we are investigating Huge. one of the most haunted places in America. So with about 250 years of history, this place has every story in the book. However, because most of the time it was a slave plantation, a lot of this stuff is not documented or recorded. In the late 1700s, there was a man named Whiskey Dave who came down here from Pennsylvania and built this house. But the legend goes that he built this on a Native American burial ground, which then cursed the land. They lived here until 1808 when Bradford they always do that. for causes here on the property. A few years into it, his wife, her widow, took over the property, running this place by herself until 1817, when her daughter got married to the gentleman in the portrait in the back corner there. Is that Clark? Yeah. Excuse me. Clark, oh, you remember oh, him? Oh, he looks like a, what? yeah, I was saying, he looks like a vampire. Uh, he looks so scary. Yeah, look at those mutton Look at those chops. chops. Serious chops. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Gotta bring it back. Here, let me give it a shot real quick. Are they there? Yep. So he wound up buying it and immediately making changes, increasing the original acreage that Bradford had purchased, which was about 650 acres, all the way up to 2,000 acres. Wow. Whoa! Oh. The entire grounds have activity on them at all times. Even the new buildings on the property still get visits from spirits. Not only has the Myrtles been considered haunted for over a hundred years, <laughs> it is also home to one of the most famous ghost pictures ever to be recorded I remember in these. the world. In 1992, the current owner took a picture of the side of the house and caught one of the clearest images ever of a shadow figure. And just for further proof, they sent this picture off to National Geographic to get it authenticated. And it's proved that the photo had not been tampered with. The original picture she caught is this one right up here. You can clearly see the figure that stands right here, which so is the wallpaper we stand beside. No. Oh, it's right there. Right there. Right there. Do you guys believe it's Chloe? We think so. So let's talk about the most famous ghost here, Chloe. What do you think? Now, she was a slave here on the property, and they didn't really keep records of the slaves, so a lot of this is legend. A man named Clark Woodruff, who was the owner of the plantation at the time, was having sexual relationships with a Naughty. slave named Chloe. Now, Chloe worked in the house with the owner as a nanny, so she worked very close with his kids. Chloe really was the perfect choice, honestly. She got along with the children amazingly well. Excuse so me, guys. That the children wanted to spend more time with her than their own mom. Working in the home is one of the more comfortable positions to have, so Chloe was willing to do anything to try to keep her spot here. She didn't want to lose this position. She didn't want to be sent outside into the fields. Now, in order to keep her job, stay ahead of the game, she would eavesdrop to gather information. The more information you had, the easier it was to keep her position. One day, Woodruff was having a very important business meeting back in our gentleman's parlor. And to separate our two parlors, there are sliding pocket doors which slide out of the wall closed, little keyhole in the middle. I have pocket doors in my house! This is the perfect opportunity. She'd be able to hide behind the door, nobody would see her, listen in, get 
get some good information, right? So she knelt down against the doors and she placed her left ear up against that keyhole and listened in until one of the men inside stood up, opened those doors, and Chloe tumbled into the gentleman's parlor. Oh my God. Damn, Chloe, you, she dropped the fucking Damn. ball. Damn. Yeah, come on. This time, Woodruff was furious. He had Chloe dragged out through the parlors and out to our courtyard where he had her left ear cut off. Ooh. He might have listened her. Oh my god. Her left teeth. So she started wearing a green head wrap and she would always drop it below her left ear so that people couldn't see her ear got cut off. That is why people think that the 1992 picture is Chloe. Along with getting her ear chopped off, she was also demoted to the kitchen, which in Louisiana, being extremely hot during the summers, it's working hot. in a hot kitchen was one of the worst jobs she But could she could mess with her slave. food. So I was trying to find her way back out, preferably back here into the home, and an opportunity for that presented itself right to her. She was going to bake the cake for the children's party that year. Because that would allow her to add in her own special ingredient. Since she worked in the kitchen, on one of the kids' birthdays, she decided to put just a little bit of poison in a cake that she was making so that they would get a bit sick and she Shut could up. nurse them back to hell so it looked good on her part. Two of the owner's kids and his wife ended up dying due to the poison. You have to know what's going on. Wow. Is it Oleander? Oh. Did you just study for this? Like a <laughs> test? He's like, yeah. A lot of people don't know there are 48, 48 known toxins inside of the seeds, the roots, the leaves, the plants, and everything. Two of these leaves? Enough to kill a full grown horse in about an hour. So we shouldn't touch that. I just don't lick it. If I just popped one of those leaves in my mouth, it would make you extremely ill immediately. Do it. What? Do it. Don't do it. <laughs> really? 100,000 lights in here? Dang it! The owner was out of town at the time, so Chloe went over to the other slaves and said, Oh my gosh, this plan did not work. What do we do? Now, all the other slaves didn't want to be blamed, so they all decided collectively to hang Chloe and throw her into the Mississippi River. The slaves held their own official trial, found her guilty of three counts of murder, marched her down to the Mississippi River, and hung her from a tree for her crime. So now wow. Chloe resides here back at the plantation and is one of the most active ghosts here. She's known to do a lot of different things, but the main thing is stealing things from people, specifically earrings. Chloe is my friend. Wait, your friend? What do you mean? Oh, when I worked there, me and Chloe used to steal earrings with each other all the time. What? <laughs> she steals people earrings because she only has one, so you only get one. When I was doing tours there, someone would lose an earring, and I would always go back in the house and have to find it randomly tucked in the chandelier. Oh, no. Under the piano, and there's a display case in there that I used to take all the earrings, and I would collect them and put them in a display case right by the haunted mirror, and people could see the earrings that she stole in through time. Oh, my God, wait. All these are just earrings. Yep. So I like to call this Chloe's treasure chest. And a lot of people report waking up in the middle of the night to Chloe standing at the foot of the bed with a candle looking down at them. That and would be creepy. That is if tonight we wake up like that. Why would you say that? I do. I just don't think she has as active of a role as some of the other ladies of the house. I think that's who I saw. So she would have been lady of the house here during that time frame. Which lady of the house. Exactly who I thought she was. She was like the madam of the house is what I said. While she was telling a story about like the poisoning, I don't know if you guys got extremely hot also, but the entire temperature of this building changed yeah, it's hot. to me. And I got like furious. Oh my but god, I know twice. it's not like my feelings. She was like here and she was so mad. And I don't Ooh, know if it's because so tired of her being guys. poisoned and her, her and her children being murdered. Maybe she's mad because it's not true. I don't know, but she's like, What's crazy? she would have failed Sarah chemistry. Girl is known to be one of the spirits trapped in that haunted mirror right here. Wait, she's trapped in it? Yeah, like there's three spirits, so two kids that died, and then the wife. So if you were to see Sarah Matilda, it would be right here. It was right here. Wow. That's crazy in itself, because you didn't even know that. The haunted mirror. And this is like iconic. If a spirit saw its own reflection in a mirror or anything like that, that it could become trapped inside that reflection forever. So whenever somebody died, they would lay thick black cloths over every mirror so that no spirit could see its own reflection. Dude, that's like Willisca axe murder house in a nutshell. This particular mirror is actually original to the home that was finished in 1796. Wait, Ooh. this is original? Original, which means it's been here for every tragedy, too, that's ever struck here. <gasps> nice. Right here, you can see the profile of a woman. Her neck, chin and lips, her nose, and the hat on her head. 
Oh, marks. wow. Yeah. It's actually kind of like beautiful. Where is this marks from? That's just it. We're not sure. Because <laughs> if you take a look on the other side, too, you'll see fingerprints and toe prints that are embedded in the right over here. Toe prints? Mm -hmm. It's literally like in something the tarnish. Oh, my God. Yeah, the top. Yeah. You can't wash it off. Above that. Hand sludge right there, yeah. And then all the drips that come down, which sometimes show up with a red hue. Oh, so my God. Oh, oh freaking oh. lie. <laughs> this mirror has actually been re-silvered whole back in the place ten times. And every time, within a year and a half, these markings show up in their exact same places that they're in now. What? Well, like, how could that even happen? Yeah. That's just it. We don't know. <laughs> Another it's thing in this room is the lady of the house's room. And with how much Chloe knew, how close she was with the kids, started to kind of see herself like that behind the scenes. And to be honest, she kind of was. Oh, I just got chills. <laughs> That's a freaky role to play. Yeah. There was a belief that spirits would hide in the corners of rooms and come out to play at night. So these were installed to watch the corners and keep the spirits at bay. Oh but there's a problem. There are three cherubs on the base of that chandelier. Typically, more than three corners in a room. There's always one corner that's unwatched. Now, I personally uh, watch this chandelier spin, so I'm pretty sure Chloe just chooses what? her corner. What? Oh, yeah. So if it's facing her corner, she moves it. Which and one's her corner? Right back there. Oh. oh. People would feel the cold spot in that corner. People have been pushed out of that corner. And if you look underneath it, on the hardwood floors, which are original to the home, by the way, you'll see scratch marks and scuff marks directly beneath the chair. All of that <laughs> scratching. Back and forth from just the chair moving. Oh my god. Not Is there anything Chloe gets you know, triggered by or something that we could do to like maybe entice her to want to talk to us? Most of the time, the responses that we get from somebody who seems like her are in response to pop culture, funny enough. I'm pretty mm. sure she's just pretty up with the times at this point. One of our tour guides was doing a history tour in here about a year ago and she was talking about the chandelier, but she noticed that all 30 people on her tour were watching the sleigh bed behind her and saw that the sheets were unfolding themselves in the middle of her tour. Oh my god. She is also known for making the doll on the mantelpiece smile. What? Wait, that one? Uh, it what? Wait, oh, okay. features are painted on. Imagine it blinks right now. Could you blink? That clock that the I high increased in voodoo was telling us about that dinged 13 times. Yeah. Isn't that it? On the mantle of the fireplace? That's by the probably mirror? it. It's an antique clock. It's not original to the house. And it sits on top of the fireplace in the ladies' parlor. And I was given a tour there, and I placed my hand on top of the fireplace, and it started changing. And I'll never forget, I got something said, count the time. When it got to 12, I was like, okay, it's going to stop. <laughs> then it timed that last 13 time, and it just like Ding 13 times, you should say there's 13 spirits. Spirits. Isn't 13 like a bad luck number? It is. It is. It opened my buildings. Oh, you didn't have to. We got dinner served for us. Let's freaking go. I just say don't try the cake, personally. <laughs> and this room is visited by a lot of the different spirits, but it's primarily visited by the children's spirits here. Now, when our current owners here first purchased this place, they actually lived inside the home for a little while, and they had two little boys. And at one point, one of the little boys had actually approached their mother saying, can I swing on the chandelier? I really wish I could have seen his mom's face. When he asked that question, but of course she said no. And she asked why. He said the little blonde haired girl's doing it. Oh, oh no! Chills, dude. Oh my god. The little blonde girl will die in the next room. And if you are sensitive to it, you're going to feel it. Mm. <laughs> now, it usually shows up as lightheadedness or dizziness, sometimes nausea. I will ask that if you do start to feel this way, please do cross over. Because I've already had three people pass out and one person have a seizure on my tours this year alone. Oh. And I'd like to not increase it. Nate, you want to go first? <laughs> this is it right here. It. Who's going first? Right. Oh. 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 oh, shit. That'd be fine. It's not funny, Nate. I feel great. No feet picture. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll blur it. Why does it look like this is like a goddamn seance room? Like, what? You know, it's funny you say that. Oh, God. The reason that we consider this the psychic center of the home goes back to one of our previous owners. She was known as the town's crazy because she said her house was haunted, and she was desperate to prove it, so she started holding seances in this room. And we're pretty sure she opened something she didn't know how to close. Oh, she played with her Ouija back then. And only amplified by the two mirrors between the ladies' parlors and gentlemen's parlors facing each other. Oh god, I'm so glad he's standing in a vortex. Vortex! A vortex! Amanda, how do you feel in here? Um, I like can't breathe. No. It feels really? like somebody is hugging me so tight that like I can't open my lungs. I can't believe they actually held seances in this guy. 
yeah, unsolved like murder of William Winter. There are dozens of murders that happened on this plantation. However, I like the, the history, but I just want to get into the investigation. Was of William Winters. William Winter was an owner of the plantation for many years, but the reason he haunts this house is because of this specific story. In 1871, he was teaching a class Sunday school downstairs when he heard outside somebody saying, I need an attorney, which he happened to be. William wasn't expecting anybody, any kind of client or anything, but this sounded more like an emergency. The man sounded desperate, so I need some ice William cream. stood up and he went through the French doors that are right back there to stop the man. So he walks out to his front porch and he says, hey, I'm an attorney. And a mysterious voice asks, are you William Winters? To which he replies, yes, that's me. And before he could do anything else, he was shot in the chest, point blank with a shotgun. The rider reached into his saddlebag, pulled out a shotgun and shot William Winter twice in the chest, blowing him back in through the doors. Oh! In through the doors? doors. That's gotta be some now, kick! He did not die there on the spot, but he knew he did not have much time, so the one thing he wanted was to go see his wife. So after hearing all the commotion, William Winter's son and got him through the, the house stairs. and up the stairs where his wife was. Now his and wife met died. him on the 17th step, and at that moment, they held each other and he died in her arms. And it was on that step that William collapsed into the arms of his wife and drew his final breath. The 17th step up. 17th step up, third down from the top. It's a very, very sad story, but that's why we wanted to mention it, because the staircase right behind us is where it happened. And to make this sad story even more sad, Sarah Winters, the wife, was rumored to die of a broken heart just a few years later. So it's said that specifically that staircase, the 17th step, I'm surprised step they haven't made a movie about this yet. Paranormal investigation. People still hear those footsteps. All the way up to the 17th, and they hear a loud in the asylum. That piano definitely needs some uh, uh, tuning. Someone cheated in a game of poker. Well, that's just it. So the death of William Winter is still an unsolved murder to this day. There's a lot of theories out there, and one of them is that he was a really bad cheater at cards and had racked up a lot of debt. Shame, shame. It gets even worse. A few years before his death, the Winters family had a daughter. Her name was Kate Winters. She came down with yellow fever, and as we said earlier, that is a very gruesome death. She was very, very ill. They had brought in help, doctors from everywhere that they could think of to try to make her better, and nothing was working. If you look at this side of her face, she still looks pretty healthy, right? Her hair is curly, very tight curls, cheek is rosy, but then you switch the side you see. Oh god! Oh yeah. Completely different. Even her arm is shrinking from the rigor mortis. Legend has it that in their final attempts to save their daughter, they brought out a voodoo priestess. Now she did everything no. in her power, and the priestess said, yeah, no, Kate is saved. She should be good, and she went about her way. The Die. next day, Kate Winters died. So obviously they were very upset, so as punishment for her failure, they went out to find this priestess and hanged her. Now this voodoo priestess is named Cleo and is still rumored to haunt this Why place Why would you say that? So a Chloe and a Cleo and a Cleo and a Chloe? Cleo and Chloe. Cleo and Chloe? Uh, Chloe, 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 Chloe. It's getting a little clump confusing. People have reported seeing an older lady that would have been dressed the way that Cleo was around the property from time to time. All the spirits here can go wherever they want in the plantation, but Kate died in William Winter's room, so allegedly a lot of people have gotten activity specifically in that room, which we gotta try later tonight. Yes, they Kate do. Kate is known for her hijinks, like jumping on people's beds in the middle of the night, running up and down halls, Please don't jump the bed. giggling at 3 a.m., all the creepy kid stuff, yeah, that's pretty much Kate <laughs> in a nutshell. God, we, oh, dude, us and little girl ghosts are just not compatible. <laughs> <laughs> Two here, so have fun with that. <laughs> oh my god. But this is actually one of her favorite rooms, probably because her portrait's here. And she loves her story being told. If we don't tell it fast enough, she starts rattling the grates on that door. Which is just She's hearing stuff behind oh, me. Perfect. He's been tapping like the entire time we've been in here. I know. I'm the only one <laughs> in my house right now. What the hell? Oh god! That is oh, clean. You can't even see the hands. That is perfect. Oh my god, that is actually terrifying. It looks just like her. Literally just like her. The hair, everything. everything. That's a mess. She has a lot of hair for a two year old. <laughs> That's you guys ready? No. Yes. That's cat. Is that a baby? Shut up, baby. Knowing that there's a lot of sightings of the ghost Chloe here, I decided. Let's grab some earrings. Oh. Just in case, during this investigation, she almost done. I'll pluck one off. Ooh. Amanda, maybe you should do the hoops. She said that Chloe really likes hoops. So you just want me to get touched by Chloe? Why don't you wear the hoops? Oh! oh. oh. You wear the hoops, I'm just saying. <gasps> oh. oh my god, look at that. Oh, look at that. You look like you're gonna get laid by a peacock. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> you your neck when you shake a hoop. 
Let's see yours. Whoa! Nice. Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> Got the hoops. Wow. He's gonna steal that. Oh, okay. 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 Jingling. Shake him. Shake him for me. Oh. Oh. Face. Dude. Yeah, dude. I would really enjoy balls hitting me in the face tonight. That's we're not do a sus. Very serious paranormal investigation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's so much creep. Oh. I just got scared. I cannot believe she said this chandelier was like going in circles. It's real cold in here, though. It got way colder. It's like yeah. real cold in here. I think you need to talk like this. Just a little chilly in here. <laughs> <laughs> just so you guys are aware, I am just. <laughs> He popped his hips and put his hands out, and then boom, immediately. <laughs> this room is apparently Chloe's favorite room, and she's spotted oftentimes in that corner. Manny, you said you had oh. some new techniques. Yeah, I've just been taking time trying to learn different techniques to bring spirits forward to us in a safe ways, and I feel like I've got some good ones. Colby? Wait, I get one specially for me? Mm, no, those are for them. Oh. This is a crystal. It's called angelite. They say that it helps open your third eye, helps you open to like communication with the other side. So I just what thought Dr. Strange does? to work on your empathic skills right now. Yeah. That's a great crystal. That's perfect for you. Ooh. In case Colby I can't gets take this serious. What? Oh, what? What the hell? Like from zero to sixty. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I brought oh. both of you guys their little bracelets. Oh, little these are evil anti eyes. anti possession these bracelets. These are evil eyes. <sighs> those are just because I felt bad getting something for Colby. Not for you guys. She has a favorite. Wow. Well, that's okay. I'm gonna need this more than Colby <laughs> will okay. need this. True. It's to protect you from evil energy. It's basically like a return to sender kind of crystal. Yeah, yeah you need that for the little girls in your ass. Dude, dude. The little girls have exited my ass. It shouldn't have happened there in the first place. So that's what I brought for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, no, thank you so much. Oh, that's very gosh. thoughtful. Super safe. Of it course, is. hopefully it helps us. So with all that being said, let's uh, start this investigation. Balls in the face. Balls in the face. I can't take him seriously with those <laughs> earrings on. It's getting, it's starting to go up. It's getting stronger, too. On the floor, too, with nothing around it? Right underneath the chandelier. Well, this is the floors from the original house. Like, the floors are the same. Then back on the floor, it goes back up to orange. They don't have a lot of... Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no electricity right there. Why would anything be electrical in a chair? Is there anything in here, possibly? No. Not? Dude, that is a chair. Like, an what? antique chair. There's no way. Yeah, that thing's like 200 years old. Wow. Where is it the strongest? Wait, like, at her, wait, at wait, her head? Wait, wait, wait. Can you see anything right there? Um, it feels super heavy over here. I don't see anything. Don't see anything? Over here, it felt so heavy just ever since we came in. So I just wanted to bring it over and see if there was anything over here. Most of the time, the responses that we get are in response to pop culture. Who's your favorite artist right now in pop culture? I don't know, man. I, uh... Do you like Justin Bieber? Easily Harry Styles. Just a Dude. It's on on the bed. Literally call it off. Chloe, if you walk past this, we'll, we'll know. The music will go off. And we heard you're up with the times somehow. And we would love to know your thoughts on like the pop culture stuff going on. We also have plenty of new fashionable earrings. Uh, so if you'd like to take one for yourself, feel free. <laughs> Yeah, it's cold there. Huh? Wait, Why did you guys just cold see? right here? Want to see what I wrote down because I heard this behind you, like behind me. Behind you? And, like I've been faced this way for a long time. And I just heard something creak right there. That's so crazy. Wait, what did oh, what? Wait, is there, oh, oh, it's that shit. Oh, okay. okay. I'm like, there's literally cold air blowing on my face right now. There's a vent right there. Dude, not the poisonous plant. Oh my god, that doesn't make Isn't any that sense. Poisonous plant, oh, that poisonous plant. That doesn't make any sense. Please, someone debunk that for me. There's Chloe, no if way. You're sitting on this couch. Could it's you solid. Have the flashlight right next. See you and just let us know you're here. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe of this house, we want to talk to you right now. If you're here and you're open and willing to communicate, now's your chance. Uh, maybe she just doesn't want to. We're guests in your home. We don't live here. This is your place, and we understand and respect that. We want to talk to you. We don't just want you to listen to us. If that's something that you're open and not afraid of doing, can you turn on that blue flashlight? It's right here on the couch. You might not know what a flashlight is now that I'm saying it out loud. You can go up and tap it, sit down next to the couch, do anything like that. It's still constant. There's Everybody no power. here has also said that there's not like a most haunted room. She might just not be in here too. 
After deciding to leave, we went to remove our earrings. Good. But as Sam reached for his earring, he felt an earring fall. All right. I've... I touched that. You touched that. I think. You think? I think I touched it. You would know if you touched it. It hit my hand. Are you holding the camera, though? No, I, I was reaching up. It hit my hand, but I, I don't know. I might have hit it off. Dude, forget that. Literally, <laughs> Shauna told us an hour ago that some woman was, like, reaching up, touched it with her left hand, dropped it, caught it with her right, and then said, oh, hell no, and tossed it. And oh, my God. That is exactly the story. I forgot about that. Keep it. Ah! Fuck, dude, you can keep it. Wait, Should we all leave one? Yeah, what what the fuck was I that? heard that. There was like a voice. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Guys, Something was talking upstairs. Again because we are trying a new experiment that we've never done before because of how famously active this place is. This car is scary. So this is what they call the seance room because of the vortex in here. Yeah, the psychic center of the house. I keep seeing things behind me. To the left what? of the oh! room, in between this That's wall creepy. and this set of candles, there's somebody. Oh, what? I just saw a child. What? What? Three. In between here and here. One that was higher up that like literally, I know it was a kid, but it was too tall to be a kid. And then the third one was in between Colby and I. Oh my God. Just all through this mirror right now. That's Can I turn nuts. this off? Caught my attention. That's crazy. Like are when you, you do that. It? Are you feeling it? No, I'm watching them, see? but I can feel it. Like I have full goosebumps right I'm now. Goosebumps. I'm not so even insane. there. And I think that if we did like the oh, seance, the seance is. table, it could be Fucking yeah, Paul Bumby. Any spirit that is here with us, you can talk through this device right here. Hello. <gasps> Was that an immediate hello? <laughs> hello. 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 How's it going? I'm over here. Is there any sign you can give us of who we're talking to? A name or an occupation? Kate. What's that say? Did it say Kate? I wrote Kate right before it said that. Is it true that this room is a portal? Evil. What? Can you tell us how many spirits are in here with us right now? Three. Three. So I heard that. Three. Clear as day. Me? Look. Chloe, what have you... That candle just got so bright on the far end. Do you oh, see it? Yes. Oh my. Extremely. Okay. It's flickering now. When we were in Chloe's room and we thought we were talking to Chloe, I heard light. Chloe, light. Over and over again, I kept hearing light. So I've underlined it, written it twice. I heard it more than that in the room. And when we thought it was Chloe and you I'm said, looking look, looking behind look, them and I stuff. I looked into the mirror and that's when I saw the like light flickering. Way brighter. Oh, Dude, it's so much almost, brighter. It's almost like confirming mm -hmm. like what you're saying. Thank you. We placed light up equipment in case it was Kate, the little girl. I'm so, I, I know like they're not gonna believe it, but that just went off and we, what was that? Yep. That happened when I turned off the camera. Look. Look. You remember how she said they were like prankster spirits too? Yeah. It could have just seen that I stopped recording too. And then that's when it was like, all right, now I'm gonna yeah. do it. Oh. Because it was like a kid. It was immediately, I just only stopped for like two seconds. That just like makes me confused though, because it could be Chloe or we said that out specifically for Kate and that was the only thing that I mean, any spirit could be walking around here. Any spirit could be here because of this vortex. I think the reason that we're kind of confused is because like we're right, Kate's definitely here. Chloe's definitely here. William is definitely here. So I think that there are so many spirits coming through right now that it's really hard to keep a conversation with just one of them. Yeah, we just asked them how many spirits are here and it's three yeah. like immediately after. William, 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 we're looking to talk to you right now and only you. Are you here with us? Did they say it in threes because like the Holy Trinity? Kate! I'm Kate! I'm Kate! Oh I'm Kate! William and Kate, we are to move to another oh, spot said, in I was, the house. I said, I am Kate. Continue talking with us tonight. Talking? Oh my That gave me chills. I thought it so, said, don't talk to me. we know now, because he literally said, I'm with Kate, and that we are talking to William, in order to like, I don't know, get him to show himself more, what if we just do like one of those trigger events where we remind him what happened to him? Yes, it's rumored that if you like reenact how he died, he'll show himself more. Time to reenact a murder. And on the eighth day, brothers, <laughs> the good Lord invented double-stuffed Oreos and said, it is good. 
Praise Jesus for double stuff RPOs. William Winter, I'm in need of an attorney. Well, yeah, I'm an attorney. Is it true? Are you William Winter? He is I. The reenactment is uncanny. Are you okay? I should have slept with your sister. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. All right, so this is William Winter's room where Kate, his daughter, died in his bed. <laughs> in the closet, Nate. Oh, fuck, fuck. Hey, just two guys in a closet together. Yeah, I like that they can have fun, but they can be serious as well. <laughs> Got my finger in his hole. I see your little finger. Oh, <laughs> William Winter has opened the door. Uh, what's the password? Jesus. Cleo. Oh, no. I know that shit. What's Cleo? Okay. It was time to get serious. As the night went on, the house became more and more active. That's, that's the cat ball. We are so far away from this. And you this. were recording again? Again, not recording. Dude, it's these trickster spirits, man. I mean, that's yes! And they just keep doing this to us. Wasn't it Kate before? Oh, it's my mouth again! Oh, okay, good. Boom, boom, boom. What the heck does that? Is Kate in there? Oh my god! No. Wait. It's the hard. <laughs> Wait, okay, so no one move. If that is the Winters family, can you turn that on one more time? One, two, three. Devil's advocate, uh. Kate wouldn't know her last name. Oh! She, she knew her first name. She was only Kate. Kate! She was the one downstairs that we were talking to. Dude, I'm here with Kate. That's what it said. I'm here with, I'm Kate. Here with Kate. With Kate. With Kate. Oh, Kate's um, boom! Wait, yo, have you guys ever seen the game? Fuck, I do. That is insane. Like, we are 20 feet away. If this is Will and Kate, will you go ahead and snap that light off? <gasps> oh, my lord. Kate Hunters would have been sitting in this bed while the voodoo priestess sat over her, treated her on her last day. Cleo, if you're here, will you please make yourself known or hit any of our equipment besides the cat ball? Whoa. Kate, are you still here? Dude, it was going off every second. It stopped as soon as we all got close. I feel like my like fight or flight has totally kicked in. Some anxiety. Yeah, where I'm yeah. super anxious and I'm waiting for something. Oh, I've been super anxious for like the past 20 minutes. I don't know why. To me, this cat Watching ball, this, I've been anxious. Now, just solidifies that evidence so much more. Other people could be like, oh, maybe it's like, you know, janky or something like that. But now, obvious. Time to split up, but not a good idea. Just not a good Kitty cat, are you gonna do dances, Matthew? Dude, this cat She's has been hanging cute. out exactly where Chloe was like the entire time we've been here. The fact that we actually are the only ones at this place, all the workers are gone, and it's like a different vibe now. It's like a horror movie. Speaking of, we're gonna split up like every good horror movie. Let's do it, guys. Setting timers now. Let's get started. Hell yeah. <laughs> Guys, because it is Hell Week, we are doing something super special and making Explore Club only one dollar to join. I've already done it. All of our exclusive videos, more investigations, and daily feed posts for literally one dollar. What dollar? So what are you waiting for? Use code Hell Week. I'm enjoying this stuff. Also, we are on the road to ten million subscribers. So go subscribe. It's free on your end, so why not? I'm on the road for a hundred thousand subscribers. But yes, I did. Uh, join their thing for a dollar. I won't be posting anything for that because it is a charged kind of thing. I don't want to take away from their content when it comes to that stuff. So I know there was a couple people asking, hey, since you bought it, whatever, can you show us? Uh, no, I'm going to keep that respectful and keep it towards them. Um, if you guys want to go see it, like they said, it's a dollar. So get it while it's hot. Let's continue. Nate and Amanda investigated that Chloe's picture was captured and alone. Sam attempted to con contact the spirits. They are trapped in that haunted mirror. I literally mirror. just walked inside and I heard a full on creak from that door. The house could be settling. Definitely being alone in this place is really creepy. 17th step That's and then this haunted mirror hell. all in the same area. Literally Amanda this morning saw somebody standing next to this grandfather clock and we heard so much commotion from that Chloe's mirror. room right here. All right guys, so I get to be in William's room by myself in the complete darkness. Come over here. Ah. 
This is Tool. I've got some information. No way. Right off the bat, we're already just immediately talking. What type of information do you have? Let's go. Chloe, is it you that I'm talking to? Chloe, did you put yourself at risk to get that information? Ready? Turning it off. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> it's creepy. Oh, shit. I hate what? This. What if you do Staring see him and see you something walk down the steps? Like multiple times this mirror has been re-silvered, meaning like refaced. However, all the markings reappeared in the exact same locations. Either they're trapped inside the actual mirror and the mirror is haunted, or what if this mirror behind it is actually just a portal? And that is why coming through makes the same markings. I thought I saw a sh like a shadow. Ow. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's going off. I don't know. Can you even see that? Yo, you can see that. It went off again. I don't know. Was it because I kicked that? I don't think this is even connected over there. Yeah, it's not connected. Look, look, look. Not I cannot off. make it go off. Chloe, was it you that they photographed in this alley right here? Accident. You didn't intend to be in the photo. I was. Dude, something just touched me. Just like we did at Zach Bagan's museum, just like we did in Casa Loma earlier this year. I'm gonna try the scrying method. Oh, gosh. Fuck. There is something right here. Something keeps moving right here. I might be losing it, but something is moving in this, going back and forth. Watch it. But a sadder version. It actually looks like I'm crying. The right side of my face is like drooping. What is that red light up there? Sarah, Matilda, James. It moved again. Cornelia, or even Chloe. If you want to show yourself, now's the time. Assault. God, oh my God. I swear I keep seeing something. Jumped. Did anybody, who got assaulted and jumped? Could that be talking about Chloe? Was she jumped? and assaulted after she told the other slaves what she did to the kids. I got chills all over my fucking body. I'm afraid to see something like walk down the steps There's or go up the steps. That is with me. Show yourself through this mirror. One. Two. Three. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I I'm chilled right now. Chloe, does guilt keep you here? Oh, I'm so chilled. I knew it was wrong. Oh my goodness. I think that we should use an inciting object. I think I know exactly what you're thinking to use. Yes, ma'am. William Winter, it's just me now. The plant. It's else. Else. I'm so Fine. are you gonna give me a sign that's right somebody now? else? Like it's someone else? Touch. Touch. Oh my God. I'm gonna keep the camera stop. right here. I'm gonna turn on two flashlights. One on the stairs in case something comes down and then one right here next to the mirror. If anything is here with me right now, you can touch these flashlights. they will turn on and let me know that you're here with me. Oh my God. The cracks in this mirror. Holy shit! Right after that, it, I was about to say this makes me look like I'm about to cry. This is a family member that's trapped next to this mirror. Can you come up next to this red flashlight and turn it off? Oh! Wait, what? 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 Oh what, what did you hear? What did you hear? Say it again. It was the family name. It was the family name. Woodruff? Did you just hear Woodruff? Are you trying to tell us about the Woodruff family? It just went. 
silent, like dead completely silent for a full Mississippi and then start it again. Oh my gosh, it's like, dude, the minute you put the object in place, I wonder why she does the circle thing. Like, if, if they keep her in the zone. Place, we heard that most of the spirits that reside here are benevolent spirits, but if there's a portal, if there's a vortex downstairs, couldn't anything enter here whenever it wanted to? If I'm talking to somebody else besides William, you said you would give me a sign by touch. I'm here by myself. Why don't you come, like, tap my shoulder, tap my leg, let me know that you're here with me. If you're a child spirit that was here, a family member that's trapped here, this one turn spooks on one of these me. I don't know why. One time. Just turn it on, and I'll know that you're one of the two children. Oh my god, dude! Okay, my main question. Oh, this one too! Double flashlights, there might be more people joining. Oh. Okay, please, I, I really want to know, are you actually trapped here? If you are trapped and you cannot leave this mirror, please turn off one of these flashlights. Oh, immediately, immediately. Oh, immediately, I'm back to back. back. It was in the house. Are you tired? Oh my gosh. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Chloe, I hope you don't mind. We've got Oriander in Amanda's hand. Uh, I, you know, was the death an accident or was it an act of revenge? I think we talked downstairs. Oh gosh. Reveal. Wheels. Gateway. He revealed himself at the gateway. Step! Thirteen Guys, step. that makes so much sense to me. Or maybe 17. that wasn't William, and that was somebody else trying to give me a sign of where Wait, yes, the gateway 13 goes is. For 17 step. Feel this right here supposedly is going to make me feel more, see more, become more empathic. Just like all of season two, that's what I was trying to really like learn how to do. Each time I go on an investigation, the feelings get stronger. So, is what I'm holding right now going to help me feel? At this moment, the audio was from Colby's camera was completely cut. Aww. I have them with me right now. So I have this theory that the mirror is actually representative of a portal. If that is true, can you turn off both of these flashlights? Both of them. There's one. Holy fuck, that was instant. So if this is a portal, oh Whoa. my god, two flashlights. So this is a portal. That I, so I'm intelligent. Right. Maybe they just confirmed that I'm right. It's time to wrap up. It's time to wrap up. I swear to god, that was no What? It's time to wrap up. I'm thinking what they're trying to say is the danger here is the portal. You don't know who you're actually talking to or what is inside. Just like they said, there could be other spirits that was just opened from a, from a portal. We have no idea. Boom. Lights on. If that is correct, turn that off. Holy gone. frick. Do you want us gone? Tell us what you want. Back. Do you want back? Inside. You want, oh, you want back inside the house? Chloe, what happened to you? Fight. Fight. There was a fight between you and some other people on this plantation. Oh, Is that true? Terror. If anybody can read the mouths, river. Right, what, what he says. Chloe, do you know what river that you were thrown into? I myself live 35 minutes away from we're the Mississippi so River. I'm so sorry that this happened to you. They all left. Why do you stay here? I'm. Be okay. Yeah. Time is up. We caught up everybody. You guys definitely talked to Chloe. No doubt. She is saying things like accident. I mean, at one point she literally said that she wanted back in house. So I don't know if I was that cat really freaked him out. Himself, <laughs> I did put the cat ball and it went off like immediately, just one time. It sounded like it was a spirit that was maybe just like telling me what he knew. Like it said that somebody was like assaulted by getting jumped, which I assume they could have been talking about Chloe. And then I was just like, am I talking to William? And it said, it's else. Like it's someone else, let me show you a sign, sign touch. And then I was like, maybe one of them felt like they got touched or oh, something. Oh, I got touched. You did? I dead ass got touched Twice. Out there. Like, swear. But it looks like those jumps bugs were on her, though. Like, something just fucking yeah. touched Holy fuck. And then tried to just, like, get back into it. Like, we just ignored it. I was talking about where he died specifically. I want to go with them so bad at the I think. Bro, yeah. that, that aligns perfectly with me. I have. Presented that theory that instead of this mirror being the haunted object, it is a representation of the portal that was started on the other side of this wall. 
If you guys are liking this video, please give it an actual like. Go down there and like it because you guys get this to 300,000 likes. You're going to go to one of the most haunted houses in the world. What? It's right there. Just do it right it's now. It's free. Don't even think about it. Yeah. Just, Just don't even do it. While you're down there, check out these guys. Subscribe to them. We literally bring them to the most haunted spots ever. Thank you guys. Check so out the Wokey. It's time to get to the experiment. Yeah. We're going to need one of you guys to sit in the chair and open up your mouth. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, neat. And I'll kick your ass for this. All right, we're only going to take you guys two or three teeth today. Uh, How does this have anything to do with the narrative? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We At need... what point was dentistry a part of this, bro? We need lots of blood. Why? <laughs> like, where did blood come in? This experiment is having to do with the SS method, bringing energy together, specifically electromagnetic energy, which is what is detected on these meters. And as you guys know, in this episode specifically, in Chloe's favorite room, this meter was going off crazily. Yeah, so it was. asking for Chloe, we want to conjure up, for lack of a better word, the most electromagnetic energy. We have decided, what if we connect all of our energy through copper wire? We wrap all of us together, then do the SS method as a group. That'd be what? interesting. We don't know if this works. What? But we're saying if all our energy is connected, would we get better answers? Especially if Chloe is showing herself as electromagnetic energy. Give it a try. What if you give them too much energy? Isn't that what we want for answers? We never think about the possible bad things. <laughs> and it ends up working out. <laughs> in your ass. Not anymore. No, yeah, you got, you got rid of it. Does that hurt your leg? Oh, she might be under already. Oh, she just broke Colby! Wait, no, she didn't. Yes, yes. Dude, look, it's going off now. So it's underneath her leg and it's wrapped around us a lot. Somebody debunked the fact how is there electromagnetic? I thought they made there a pentagram. Anything electrical here at all. Oh, it's just what barely going on. Oh, that's fucking scary. What is the like circle the that man is drawing? Does it represent something? It's like the ring. Portal? Oh! Perfect. Isn't that how like, perfect your answers though were outside? They were similar, but with more ambiguity. Wait, let's ask it on quieter just in case she can hear us. I feel like that was not like... It yeah. wasn't too loud, but could you say... Hey, something at 12 o'clock? What is that circle you're drawing? He's not... He's not... He's not... Yeah, who is he? Is there a name? She's gonna cut through that dang Who's book. This? I'm up top. <gasps> up there? You up there? Step gateway. Are we speaking with Are you ready? Call them. Chloe? The kids. Chloe, the kids. Anybody here at the Myrtles, please show yourself. I am. Oh my god. Uh, water. I'm a, I've been chilled this whole entire time. Chloe. Both of them Anxious. Got dumped in the river. This is spiked. It spiked well, right after you said Chloe. It went to red. Now, I'm just the messenger? No. The, me the messenger! The person that maybe was Chloe? talking to me. You didn't know who it was, but it was telling you about the house. Exactly. Dude, this is making me like feel kind of sick being like chained to her. Yeah. Is there some sort of portal leading in and out of this house at the Myrtle? That just spiked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said portal. It, it's been this spiked. This house? This house. This house. Without the it. entire house? Is that a portal? One moment. Yeah, take your time. Oh That's a little bit creepy. Are you targeting me because I have this? Because Amanda gave me this? Maybe they know I can feel more because I have this stone. Yeah, dude. Hmm. I was gonna say, it better be her. <laughs> that sounded like Latin. Latin. My name's John. John who? Did you live here at the house? I just want... What do you want? Cash. <gasps> he could have been the one who killed William Winters. In my conversation upstairs when I was talking about the death of William Winters, it said big deceit justice. Like oh, everybody's he, under deceit. Oh, me. Oh, he wants cash. He owes me. John, tell us clearly. Well, I assume she. Was it because of the death of cash? Lord. The Lord. Well, is there something keeping you here? This. The circle? The portal? The yeah. portal? Are you talking about the portal? Is it what Amanda's drawing out? The portal? Is that what's keeping you here? John, Chloe, whoever we're speaking to, is there a portal in the house? Here is. Here it is. Here it is, and she just went like this. On the floor. On the floor! Oh my god. Sorry, yes. I'm yes. sorry, I kept forgetting our yes. Stay? Wait, so the portal was forcing you to stay? She's nodding, she's nodding, she's nodding, 
Do we need help? They all get trapped in the mirrors. Something this way. How can we help you? I'm so cold. Oh my god. Is there something? I just heard a bell ding. This is fucking terrifying. This, Look at yeah, me. We, can, if we, like we can't even run if we wanted to. Uh, yeah. Go on five. Go on five. Go on five. Oh, One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Four, five. <laughs> what the fuck? What did you just yell into Amanda's ear? Deer? Fear? Fear? Deer or fear? Again. She said that was a portal. Like she a like hit up the portal, portal, I guess. I don't know. Stay? You want us to stay? Or is the portal forcing you to stay? Yes. That's it. That's come. And then they need help. But how do we help? Is there you can. Way? She. She, she is. She is. Chloe's trying to help. Is it Chloe they're talking about? Maybe. I'm not. What do you hear? Do you hear that? What do you hear? It sounds like they get galloping. It's like galloping. So we know there's a portal, basically one way, because it traps them here, and they need help. That's probably why this whole place is so haunted. It's literally a one-way portal that traps people using mirrors. We're here to help you. What can we do? Did you see that? Oh fuck! Oh, see what? Fuck. I hate that. Show me. We're laughing at. Do you Stop. Have... We're laughing at Are you. Are they sleeping here tonight? Laughing. It's probably because we're wrapped up in copper wire in the middle of their house. Yeah, I know this. Brother, what the hell are you doing? Should we take this off? Dude, yeah. I don't know how. I gotta be careful. You know what that just made me think of, though? It's the scratches that keep showing up on the yeah. mirror even every single time they get, like, a new one. You know what I think we gotta do? First off. That would be me. <gasps> See? Holy oh, shit! God. I said that so quietly, too. Here's what I think we gotta do. Keep it under. Put it in. $70. What? They keep talking about money. We got the person who might have killed William Winters. We got Chloe to come through. We got proof that there's a portal and proof that they need help because they can't leave. And it's impossible. Like, I don't know if we can. Help. They can walk around the plantation. I'm watching behind them. Leave. Is that correct? It all was. I got my spot. Uh, dude, literally chills I again. Now. Now. Yo, why? Like you can feel yourself doing that, right? Yeah, 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 no, no, no. That's I'm like that, the like, ring right there. Like, like, getting a little like a trance. Yeah, but it's never been hollow in the middle. Like, it it's also, always a black blob. We asked what you were drawing and it said portal. Like it was like using that to represent portal. Why so, did you write Colby? Colby was the first thing I heard. Well, what's interesting is you also said you were talking to a messenger at one point, And I think I was talking to somebody that was some sort of messenger figure that was telling me about the story here. But I think we talked to multiple spirits. I'm watching that, that mirror. We're all talking about just the same portal that they're trapped in and they can't get out of. I think we figured it out. But it's impossible for us to help them. So they are trapped here. They've been trapped there for 250 years. We figured out the spirit. We're trapped here by the portal. But doesn't every portal have two sides? So with that, I think we can definitely say that Myrtle's Plantation is one of the most there? haunted places in America. Hope you guys are enjoying Halloween. Oh, Please subscribe man. and turn on notifications for the next video. Adios. That it? Woo! Ah! Oh. Baby child is actually an armadillo. It's an armadillo! Oh my oh. god! That was crazy. That's a naked baby armadillo. <laughs> So with that being said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one of the third video of the Myrtles Plantation. Another great one. I definitely enjoyed it. I was hoping to see a little bit more when it came to the mirror and stuff like that. But there could be stuff that we didn't even see because apparently the last one, the Mississippi's most haunted mansion, apparently there was tons of shadows that we never saw. If you guys want me to react to that one, I would definitely... Uh, comment your guys thoughts on that one but the next video we're going to be t looking at on the 23rd which is in three days is going to be trans allergeny Je uh, trans allergeny lunatic or lunatic i can't pff, talk today lunatic asylum i am so excited about that one the asylums just got like a whole nother ballpark of creepy content and or creepiness to them and um i'm definitely excited so comment your guys thoughts down below like the video subscribe all the above and we'll see you guys in the next video so keep it real keep it safe and as always keep nerding on and we'll see you guys next time Peace.